Welcome back to the Morning Blend. We're super excited in just a minute to talk to Sylvia Day, who wrote this great yeah. novel. It's the last one in her series, so we're just kind of waiting for her. She's going to join us in just a little bit to talk about this. It's called One With You, and a lot of people are excited because it's in the Crossfire series. It's her last one in this series. And it looks like there's some, you were reading a little bit to me during the, the commercial break. It was, it's some juicy details there in there. There are some juicy details. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Four years ago, the first book in the Crossfire series by Sylvia Day was released, and each of the four novels in the series has become an international bestseller. I'm going to tell you just by reading a couple paragraphs in this one, I see why. Today is very special because the fifth and final novel, One With You, comes out to you, the readers. And we're thrilled to be chatting with Sylvia Day here on The Morning Blend. Good morning to you, Sylvia. Good morning. Good That's to, big day. Yes, good to chat with you again. Is this a little bittersweet? This is like the last baby for you in this Crossfire series. It is bittersweet, absolutely. On one hand, I, you know, I'm elated. I, I'm excited that these characters have reached the end of their story, and, and we get to see how everything wraps up. There's no more loose ends. But on the other hand, you know, I've spent the last five years of my life with these people, and, it, you know, it's, it's like taking friends to the airport and saying goodbye, you, you know you'll see them again and think of them again and, and be in touch in some way or another, but it's still, you're, it's always sad to, to say farewell for now. Tell us a little bit about what it, uh, readers can expect with this emotional and romantic journey between Gideon and Eva. Can they, can, is there anything you can tell us or sort of tease us about for this novel? Well, for those who haven't read the Crossfire series, you know, we're, we're five books in, and if you haven't started yet, you can read from beginning to end in one shot, so there's no waiting for you. It's instant gratification. We started with Ava, and she's moving to Manhattan. She's starting a new job. She's got a new apartment, you know, and she, she is absolutely certain that Manhattan is the, the next great love affair in her life. And then she runs into Gideon Cross and realizes that, no, this is, this is the next great love of my life. And yet it's a very difficult relationship for them. So we've watched them over the course of, of these books try to build a relationship that lasts. And they make a lot of mistakes. Of course, you know, they're very flawed. They have a lot of growing up to do. And with the final novel, you know, we get to see them. They're in the early days of, of their marriage. And, you know, definitely saying I do is not the happily ever after. The relationship gets harder. They're actually looking back to the time when they were dating and saying, wow, we had it easy back then. Now it's a lot of work. And, we, you know, we, we get to see them make that work, um, you know, put that time into it and, and make the relationship happen and, and solidify. And we're, we're excited for them to move forward with the rest of their lives. Yeah, you say it's kind of painful and wonderful at the same time is how you describe the ending to their relationship. So I'm, I'm excited to see a little bit more. I know this has been optioned by Lionsgate. Is there hope for us that this will turn into a movie or a series? Well, it's been in development, active development for mm -hmm. three years now. So uh, we, are, we are constantly working on it and talking about it. It takes a long time. I, I hadn't actually realized that Hollywood takes a long time, although people had warned me that, <laughs> other writers who have had options. But, uh, you know, because they want to do a really good job. They want the, the readers who become viewers to find in the show what they found in the books. So would this that be a movie or a series? It's television. Yeah, okay. they're, they're looking at cable television. So that for them, they felt that it would not be possible to condense one of the books into a two-hour feature film. They felt that really they needed the, the, the room to do 12 to 13 hours of episodic you know, series television for each novel, which gives readers, of course, a lot more to, to dig into. So clearly you're learning a lot about the process. You said it's been three years already. Is, is there sort of an end in sight or a, a production date in sight? What can, is there any sort of idea that it might take five years total or seven years or ten years or just another year total before we'd be able to watch it? I, <laughs> I wish I knew, honestly. And it's one of those things where, you know, I, I'll reach out to the producers and be like, what can I say? You know, what can I safely share? And they're like, you know, let us share. So I have to wait for them to, uh, to give me the okay to say where we are with things. Um, I wish I could say that it was going to be this year, but I really don't know if it'll be this year or next year. It, it's just one of those things where, you know, it, we leap forward and then we work on that part for a little bit and then leap forward again. And it's, it's really a process. It's been a very, you know, interesting learning experience for me. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. I know your next series, Blacklist, is coming, and people are looking forward to following along with you. Thanks so much for joining us, Sylvia.